Check out this awesome species. This is Rosa Caroliniana. Watch these bumblebees, how frantic they get when they rummage around inside these flowers. It's really cool to see. You can hear the buzzing around here. They're just going crazy inside the flowers. And over here, in a few minutes, I'll show you Rosa Virginiana, and we can try and compare and contrast some of the differences. Off the top of my head, the Rosa Caroliniana is usually a little bit smaller, and on these, these wings, I believe the Virginiana has more curled and smaller wings. Let me pull a leaf off for you to see. And we'll go examine that one in a couple minutes. This is Rosa Virginiana, or Virginia Rose, and check it out. These flowers are a little bit lighter in color. The plant is a little bit taller, but just like Carolina Rose, the bumblebees are going frantic in there, pollinating like crazy. Let me grab one of the flower, or the one of the leaf stems so you can see what I'm talking about. So it might be the same width of the wings at the bottom of this stem, but they're a little more curly. Do you guys know any other distinguishing characteristics between Virginia Rose and Carolina Rose? While I'm here, I should mention some of the growing habits of the native roses that we have. They often sucker and will cluster in and form a thicket. So if you have an area that you're trying to cover up and form a dense thicket of these nice roses, it'd be a great spot. They like full sun, they can tolerate wet feet, they can tolerate dry conditions. Um, they're just a great species and the pollinators absolutely love them.